Hello everyone and welcome to today's interview. Uh, I'm, my name is Sandeep and I'm with uh, Coach Kwame, who is not only the highly regarded swimmer in Kumasi, but also is happened to be coach of my kids, which is Jasura and Raya. Right. Uh, Mr. Kwame, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Could you start by telling us a bit about your background and uh, how you got into the coaching of swimming? Uh, my name is Kwame Efriye. I'm in my mid-30s. I hold diploma certificate in health and safety management from UK London wow. and a level one swimming instructor. I am a highly skilled and swimming coach with advanced training in swimming and sports leadership. I have a proven track record of guiding athletes and excel personal and competitively in environment conducive for learning. Uh, my expertise include Cali Column and maximum athlete performance and personal athlete journey that has helped me to become an electrospective and thoughtful coach. Thank you. Wow. Great, great. Okay, moving ahead with the next question of the interview. Uh, coach Kwame, what set your swimming program apart from others in Kumasi? Kumasi. Thank you very much for this question. My swimming programs stand out from other in Kumasi due to its competitive and approach to safety of my swimmers by putting in a strict measures of safety protocol and providing ongoing training to my staff and program. Also inclusive, catering for my swimmers to all skills level of background. I also offer a variety of swimming classes that include beginners, intermediate and advanced training level, ensuring that uh, everyone has the opportunity to learn and provide their swimming skills. Yeah, wow. that, that is why my, my stand out from others in okay. Kumasi. Wow. Yeah. Uh, during your answer, you mentioned the safety also. You know, yeah. as a parent, we always worried about the, the safety, safety yes, yes, yes. of the, our kids. Yeah. So what uh, do you ensure? Like, how do you ensure the safety of children during the swimming? Lessons? Yes, yes. My, I, 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 to ensure children's safety, during swimming lesson, I follow the water safety plan at the premises or the venue that we are taking our lesson and also taking swimmers through personal hygiene and I, such as, uh, you know, kids, they, they sometimes spit in water. Some also don't know that urinating in water is prohibited. But sometimes I take them through, do not spit in water, do not urinate in water. If you want to urinate, alert the uh, coaching staff or your, your trainer. So that the trainer take you to the nearest uh, washroom for you to make yourself comfortable. Wow. Excellent. Okay, again moving ahead to the next question. Okay. Like, what age group do you typically work with, and how do you tailor your approach for each age group? Yeah, yeah. In my swimming program, I cater to um, children from the age of four and above. Okay. My my focus is on water comfort and basic movement for the toddlers. The fundamental skills like uh, floating, gliding and kicking. Yeah, and kicking and etc. Okay, thank okay. you. So Coach Kwame, can you describe your teaching style? Yes, my and teaching style, uh, yes. Um, when coaching young swimmers, my teaching style, when coaching young swimmers, the Enthusiasm should be on personal and social development, social development, technical skills in swimming, technical skills in swimming, and improving and creating some fun of uh, fun environment and introducing them to a competition, competitions, and then and etc. You know, coaches play a vital role in in, in a, a vital role in instilling life skills in the case yes yeah you also you know you you know you sometimes have to cocate some kind of discipline in the case when it comes to the swimming yeah you know um, you, uh, the case some of them have individual potential when coming 
and they also come from individual homes. So it's your duty as a coach to create some kind of um, discipline in them for them to learn, not only necessarily learning the swimming, but other things too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Coach Komiya, how do you access and track their progress? Yes, to as assess and yes, yeah, to assess and track the progress of each child in my swimming program. A regular assessment is a key. Okay, a regular assessment is a key when it comes to swimming. And this involves evaluating swimmers to ensure that they are on track. So sometimes I, I have a point that I use to assess my students. Okay. Yes. Regular assessment is one. I've already mentioned regular assessment to constant training to maintain the consistency of each student and then parental involvement not only the coaches have to do the assessment parents are also involved when it comes to swimming yes so sometimes we do have parents gathering so that they bring out their ideas towards swimming you know some of the parents do know how to swim so they sometimes correct us and other stuff yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, so what measure do you have in place for the children, especially who is a little bit fearful yeah, yeah, yeah. Apprehensive about the swimming? Yeah, to address such issues in children about um, swimming, consider a strategy practice like working back towards the planning drills. Sometimes you give them a drill, a drill like kicking. You know, kicking helps uh, the kids to be, not to, to be feared. Okay, kicking, putting the head in, blowing bubbles in the water also help to take out um, the fears from the case. Okay. Yeah. Then, Coach Kwame, how do you handle the different skill level within a group lesson settings? A group lesson, handling different swimmer skills levels. Yeah, within my swimming lesson group, setting a regular careful planning, flexibility, and individualized attention. Okay. okay? So Sometimes I also have categorized them in some points. I used to differentiate uh, those with different skills. Okay. Yeah. Assessment the skills level. Maybe a, a kid is learning how to do breaststroke, other one is uh, learning how to do backstroke. Okay. So it's a duty of, of the coach to assess the skills level okay. and individual potential you know yeah that also i use that one to do the differentiation i also focus on building the water okay cooling and other stuff i use the differentiator instructions okay okay, okay for instance i have one student uh raya very smart guy okay when he's doing <laughs> <laughs> very smart guy yes very smart and funny guy i have a way of instructing him compared to the beginners i sometimes do i will just tell raya raya do this whilst i tend to the beginners yeah and then i sometimes interpret some kind of fun you know if you don't create some kind of i make the case down Yes, exactly. It creates a fun environment for them so that they'll feel happy whenever they are coming to you. Yeah. And the monitor, monitoring, and then providing them uh, assistance is vital in swimming. Yes, you yes. have to monitor each and every student, yes. their level of swimming. I can testify with my personal experience. Yeah. So, Sora and Ra, they always they wanted to come to you. Yeah. Uh, because <laughs> You created that uh, kind of bond, the yeah. friendly in nature. Yeah. yeah. So really, it helped. So it will not like additional burden on us as a family. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so every time the kids themselves they wanted to come to the uh, swimming class. Yeah. Okay. So now, so Coach Kwame, can you share some success stories and notable achievements? Yes, 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 yes. Notable. Akroya is the name. In Kumasi, a neat environment. 
Acroya Swimming Hub has pro, uh, actually we have pro, uh, pro, produced a notable student. You know, we have Raya, we have Raya, we have um, Nolan, and they are swimming with Swim Africa, yes. Ghana. You can testify their performance when they go to different regions in Kumasi. Yeah. Yes. I have a lot. You know, swim, swim, swim uh, um, Acroya has a school that we teach and we normally take them to a different school for competitions. And we've won a couple of medals and trophies. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you for your time, um, Coach Kwame. Uh, so, you know, a lot of parents, I'm sure they are watching you. Yeah. So, the parents of potential kids, where they will find you and how do um, they reach you? Okay, let me let me put my and uh, thank you for this opportunity. Let me put out my numbers. Yes, they can reach yes. me on my numbers, and my numbers are on WhatsApp. Two numbers: zero five zero six three four six seven zero six seven zero three zero five zero six three four six seven zero three, and my MTN is zero zero two five seven nine five zero eight three one. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You can thank also find it on, on the description, the Coach Kwame's number. Yeah. So, thank you, Coach Kwame. Stay you, tuned man. with another episode. Maybe we can uh, see next videos, maybe type of swimming, and to me, swimming benefit. Right? Thank you very okay, much. Thank you. We'll see you.